Rhonda Blackmore says some rural crime trends are creeping up in Saskatchewan. For example, people stealing fuel is a growing concern. We've had a report of 61 thefts of fuel this year from fuel tanks and from jerry cans, an additional 12 thefts from actual farm equipment. So a significant number, um, and we're seeing those on the rise. Blackmore says policing in rural areas is challenging. Response time can be slow because of Saskatchewan's geography, and it isn't possible to have officers on the corner of every rural property. Saskatchewan's government recently announced it was forming its own police force of marshals to address rural crime. The new service will have 70 officers by 2026 and will cost $20 million annually. We've heard lots of discussion about it, pros and cons, but we would just like to learn more about it uh, because we think anything that can help the RZMP, that's the key, I think, uh, to be able to reduce the amount of rural crime. We simply don't want uh, someone else to replace the RZMP, but we want to complement them. Rhonda Blackmore wonders why the government is not using this money to strengthen existing services. Our one question that we're kind of... Um we haven't had answered yet is as why in money is being put into creating a, a new infrastructure with a new police service when we have the infrastructure available we have vehicles we have buildings we have um, you know the training is already in place and equipment so all of those um, startup costs are, are significant after criticism earlier this month the minister defended the plan we fund the police or the RCMP to the tune of over $211 million a year. We still need basic policing in our province, rural and otherwise. Still, Blackmore says the RCMP is improving its response to rural crime, considering boundary changes and helping officers rethink their priorities. I've had comments made to me that why is there such a big deal made when a TV is stolen and yet I can have 20 head of cattle that get taken and nobody seems to be interested. And so we've really tried to shift our focus to make sure that people are aware that this is livelihood. These are very expensive thefts. She says the RCMP is also working on local recruitment to beef up its own force with Saskatchewan people. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Saskatoon.